morning traders and welcome to the daily call today Thursday the 28th of April looking at uh, yesterday's uh, data and news the only bit of data was local we had our CPI number come in at 2.1 percent better than the forecast of 1.7 whilst the trimmed mean CPI was 1.4 percent also better than than the forecast at 1.2. This is uh, the highest rate of uh, growth uh, in, in terms of CPI and consumer price goods for around about 20 odd years. What this basically now means is that the signal for the RBA meeting next week is that uh, there is a more than definite chance that interest rates will increase next week. Uh, most analysts believe that that will be the case uh, as already we have seen other central banks globally start to move their interest rates there. So the question really remains, how much will that be? Will it be 25 basis points or will it be the 50 basis points uh, that other central banks have already done so? That pretty much wraps up there. So let us now move and have a look at our chart of the day. And the chart that I'm looking at this morning is a carryover from yesterday, which is the US CAD. And as you can see, that was yesterday's chart. That little candle that I'm pointing at right now, that was just in formation. That candle has now completed. So let me show you this morning's chart. You can see that that candle has, in fact, moved up a little bit, very nice, up to that support, uh, to the resistance line, which I really like. The little one now that I'm pointing at is this morning's candle around about two hours into formation. So if the setup should remain like it's showing right now, if that candle should finish as an inside candle, that will be our trigger for a sell tomorrow on the US CAD. So the US CAD daily time scale is our chart of the day this morning. All right, what's on the agenda for today's session? We have tentatively from Japan, the Bank of Japan's outlook report. Interest in this one, as we have seen recent uh, Japanese yen weakness. Let's see what that report says and uh, their signals in relation to their interest rates decisions um, that they've been holding off whilst other central banks have not. The only other bit of data to come out um, in this session is from the US. That happens at 10.30 this evening. It's the uh, advanced the GDP number which is due out. That pretty much wraps up for this morning guys as always please feel free to contact us if you do have any questions. You can also follow me on ChatFX for trade setups and breaking news. Most importantly hope you all have a great trading day. I'll speak to you tomorrow for the daily call. Bye for now.